So this video is adding and subtracting fractions part two. So if you didn't see part one, you should view that one. But part two deals with mixed numbers. So let's do a couple of examples. We have two and three fourths plus three and one third. The first thing I'm gonna do is rewrite this whole thing vertically. Two and three fourths plus three and one third. And I'm going to um, change these right away into improper fractions. So I'm not doing any changing other than changing the format that it's in. So two times four is eight plus three is 11 over four. Three times three is nine plus one is 10 over three. So we just change them from mixed numbers to improper fractions. But um, I still haven't even added anything and I can't add anything yet because I see that I have two different denominators. So now I um, recall what I have to do was change that now into something with the same denominator. And I know the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16. And I did say 12 two times. So 3 fits into 12, 4 fits into 12. I definitely can use 12 as my common denominator. I know 3 times 4 is 12 and 10 times 4 is 40. So 10 over 3 is equivalent to 40 over 12. And then I know 4 times 3 is 12 and 11 times 3 is 33. So now what do I have? Well I just have addition, right? So 33 on top plus 40 all over 12. So now I have 40 plus 33, which is 73 over 12. And I won't be able to simplify that any further, and I can leave it as that improper fraction. Okay, so, um, okay, let's do another example. The next example, I have three, uh, three terms here, and we know with PEMDAS, we have to take care of the first two terms, and in this case, um, these are mixed numbers. So what we're gonna do is rewrite the whole thing vertically, one and one fourth plus two and one half minus three eighths, and I'm just going to change it from um, these numbers from mixed numbers into improper. So four times one is four, plus one is five over four and two times two is four plus one is five over two. And this is already a fraction, so we can just leave it like that. So now what we have to do is we have to change them into equivalent fractions because I have different denominators. So I'm gonna make all of these fractions here into um, something uh, uh, equivalent fractions with the same denominator. And I know two fits into four, and four fits into eight. In fact, the multiples of two are two, four, six, eight. Um, so I can use eight as my common denominator. And um, I don't have to do anything on the bottom number here. Three over eight equals three over eight. Over here, I have to go from two to eight. I, was, I would be multiplying by four. So I'd have to do the same on the top to find an equivalent fraction. Five times four is 20. And then to go from four to eight is um, multiplying by two, right? So four times two is eight. Five times two is 10. So now let's remember what we had to do. We had to take care of the first two fractions first. So the first two fractions here are these two. And it's simply it is 10 plus 20 over eight, which is equal to 30 over eight. And I am not done yet because I have to take care of this minus 3 eighths. So I'm going to just bring this down 30 over 8 minus 3 over 8 is equal to 27 over 8. And that's it. That is, um, that fraction is an improper and you can leave it like that or you can make it a mixed number either way. Um, so let's do one last example, straightforward. Uh, subtraction of two mixed numbers. Um, so again, I'm going to take care of this by rewriting it vertically. Minus six and one fourth. First thing I'm going to do, three times seven is 21, plus one is 22. 
over 7. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25, over 4. Um, the common denominator here would be 28, okay, because uh, 4 times 7 is 28. Uh-oh, the dog's barking, okay. And 25 times 7 is actually 100 and, oops, 175. 7 times 4 is 28. And 22 times 4 is 88. So the dog is barking at someone. Okay, so 88 on the top minus 175 over 28. So stay with me. Keep change opposite. You're going to get a negative number here, right? Which is negative 87 when you subtract all over 28. And if you did change this to an improper, uh, from an improper to a mixed number, it would be negative 3 and 3 over 28. So again, here we went keep change opposite. We had two numbers, we had to subtract, we got a negative 87 over 28, and then if you want to get, you know, you might see it in this form, you might see it in this form, either one is generally okay. Um, you should know how to do both of those though. Um, so we just, this is simply 87 divided by 28, I know 28 times 3 is 84, so I had 3 left over, over 28. And that's it. Replay the video in case you uh, got a little lost somewhere and um, practice.